Hey, how's it going? I'm playing the Ocarina of Time. And I'm going to do something that I don't usually do. I'm going to make a guide and explain to you all how to get the big Goron sword. It's the nice last sword you get in the game. You know, it's all shiny and all that shit. And I'm going to explain it for you here on this channel. And I think it's going to be a very informative guide and you're going to learn a thing or two. The first step you got to do is talk to this bitch. She's going to whine about her life and you're going to have to listen to her. You know, happens to all the bitches. And in the end, you're going to get some kind of egg or some shit. You know, you could talk a little faster there, too. You know, we're on a time schedule here. I don't actually know what's timing me, but we're on a schedule, so you better talk some... Fuck. Did any of these buttons work to make you go faster? God damn it, I'm trying to make a guide here. Don't you understand there, ma'am? Jesus fucking Christ. And now we stand in the holy platform and play a magical song that makes the sun fuck off. We praise to the sun too while we do this. Why? I don't know. People praise the sun, don't ask me. And then we do it again. Because the moon has to fuck off too, you know. Huh? You do you care that a person's sleeping in your bed there, ma'am? Well, I mean, I'm fully aware of that, yeah. The fucking Eagle Fuck, whatever his name is, just kicked him out. And now you just let him sleep here, ma'am? Why did you put a beehive on your head? Here, ma'am, I got a cock for you. Do with it what you please. Me personally, being butt stuff, I usually think it's better to go up the, you know, uh, poop shoot. Boy, he really got it. Can I just shatter him? Nope, I cannot. So here's the next step in the guide. Most people want you to take a left here. But actually, what you're supposed to do is take a right, and then you take a left, and then you take another right, and you're going to end up here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to your start menu, you're going to pull out a bomb, and then you're going to lay it right next to this guy. And then you're going to run away while snickering. So as you see here, this man had a little too much to drink, and also decided to dye himself a very pale white. Looks a little bit like a zombie. So you gotta give him this blue cuck. Give him this. Give him this. There you go. Oh, maybe he actually is a zombie. I don't know. So it's very important on this next step that you get to Kakariko Village as fast as possible. You can't warp either. Yeah, that's a big no no. But a lot of people don't understand that it's a lot quicker to get there if you first run back over to here. Visit our little friend, and once again, give him a bomb. He does need the bomb, so you better give him as much as possible. You know what? I'm going to give him a second one. He is a good person, after all. He's a little small, but oh, that, that bomb wasn't that close to him. I don't think he'll like that one so much. And now, carry on with your business. Now, you got to be very careful on the next step. This is an old witch here. She looks a little weird, and don't blame me. So don't, don't, don't buy her any of her shit. I don't actually trust this person either. To be honest, I want to get the fuck out of the shop link. Like, why the hell do the lights have to turn off? Did I just get raped? Very likely I did. Nice looking potion. Looks like they just chopped off a nipple and put it on a parchment. That doesn't look like much of a nipple, but I'm going to go with the nipple anyways. Now, it should be fairly obvious what the next step is. It obviously is this. No oh, shit, I'm not supposed to talk to him. Fuck, shut up, shut up, shut up, fucking shut up, shut up, I don't wanna fucking shut up, fuck. Uh, this is so hard to talk to him, just blow up, man, thank you, there we go. Okay, so when you're doing it, don't do that, don't talk to him. Your ears are gonna start bleeding when you start listening to his voice, it's horrible. So as you can see here, this person now turned to a little girl. Give her this shit and she's gonna say something. What do the guy peaced out to? Huh? The fucking bitch turned to a skeleton? The next step is really simple. You just talk to this douchebag and hope he has something nice to say. 
Oh, you don't talk to him, you gotta give him the saw. Old He he left the saw this whole lady, but I got the saw from a little girl who apparently swapped out with some zombie like man. Okay, there's a story going on here that's really strange. And I'm not entirely sure what's going on. But something spooky's happening. All I know is I got the broken big Goron sword. Or, fuck me, it's the broken Goron sword. And now you can move on to the next step. So here's the next part. You're gonna talk to probably the biggest person in this game. I mean, look at him. And I know you're asking yourself, how big is his dick? Well, it's big, let me tell ya. I've been there before. Show him the broken knife or sword or whatever he calls it. And he says he wants to repair it. But first you gotta help him with his eyes. Cause, you know, he got a little bit of a jerk and, and it flew in his eyes. You know what I'm talking about. So then you can give him this shit and he's gonna be like, Oh, I see what you're doing there. And he's gonna give you some, I, I think it's frog something. I don't know. Gotta forget what this part is. Just, just give me the ingredient, man. And he's gonna want you to go all the way to the, uh, the laboratory right by Lake Hatley, I'm pretty sure. And you gotta get there before it spoils. And that's kind of how this goes. Before we do that, we gotta take one quick pit stop. So now we talk to this guy. He's all crazy and shit. Gets even crazier in the next game, too. Uh, no. G give, give him the frog. One o'clock here, Link. Give him the fucking frog. There you go. So, like, uh... Your jaw working right there, buddy? I don't think it is. Oh, well. But, yeah, he's gonna use his frog or some shit, and he's gonna make us some medicine out of it. And then we're gonna return that to the big Goron guy. As you see here, we now have gone back to him with perfect timing. Well, perfect's a bit of a stretch as it's 10 seconds to go. I gotta give him this real quickly. There we go. Come on, take it, buddy. I have 10 seconds to give this to you. Yeah, I brought you that shit. Now, maybe my fucking sword. I've been slaving all over this fucking day for... Honestly, it's like been... Fuck, I know, probably five days at this point. Time goes really fast in this game. Oh, boy, he just punched me in. He just literally punched the camera. He punched everyone, actually. Hopefully we're all good. He is pretty big. And he's big down there, too. Come on, hurry up, man. I just want the fucking sword. Give me the sword, buddy. Come on, fix a Rooney that shit. Well, I just played the Sun Song like ten fucking times, and now here you go. Finally gonna get the sword. And that's how you get the big Goron sword. That's it. See ya.